Well, joining me now from Brussels is Sarah Chandler, Siri, Senior Policy Advisor at European Digital Rights, an international advocacy group defending online freedoms. Um, thanks very much for joining us on Good Morning Europe. Um, give us an idea of the impact that uh, artificial intelligence has on our lives today and, and the risks that are associated with that. Yeah, thanks very much for having us. So artificial intelligence is likely to impact us in various ways. So the systems can be deployed uh, particularly in context, for example, deciding who might get a job. Uh, as you've said, facial recognition in public spaces to watch us and also identify us, but also potentially in even more sinister ways against vulnerable groups, such as uses of AI technology to test whether migrants are lying in their visa applications, uh, drones to monitor migration at the border, and even predict uh, who and where crime is more likely to happen, which has been in many cases proven to increase and in further racial profiling against people of colour. The EU is now proposing these new rules to um, offset the risks. Uh, are you encouraged by what you've seen? So there are pluses and negatives. So the first things first is that the tech lobby has been really uh, very... Um, active on this file and have for a long time pushed for the, uh, the European Commission not to introduce red lines, so bans on certain uses of technology. Um, of course, civil rights groups, digital rights groups, human rights groups have pushed for the need to that, acknowledge that very fact that some simply some uses of artificial intelligence are likely to be too risky and too harmful for our fundamental rights and therefore need to be banned. The artificial intelligence draft rules do include that admission. They do um, accept that some uses simply need to be banned. Um, for example, like social scoring and also uses that seek to distort people's behavior based on exploiting their vulnerabilities, such as age or disability. This is a positive. Sarah Chanda, However, Sarah Chanda yeah. sorry, we have got no more time for that, but th thanks very much for your contribution there. Good morning, Europe. Thanks very much.